And we are back with another episode of the most quotable films of all time. And uh, as you can see from the smile on my face, Scarface won, baby. Yes. Uh, everyone. Oh, it was weird because uh, when last week, when I was compiling my S movies, yeah. I actually there was actually three Pacino movies. That began with an S. <laughs> you could have ran, you could have ran the gauntlet on them. Oh, totally, yeah. So, what were the other ones? Uh, Scent of a Woman was that one of them? Serpico. Ed Serpico, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure there's even more, probably, but yeah, all great. But uh, but yeah, this is an absolute classic. Like, uh, I'm gonna have to at least mention a couple honorable mentions as we go. But uh, I guess I'll start us off um with my number five which is um pacino says me i want what's coming to me or oh, well, what's coming to you Tony? the world chico and everything in it that was a good quote okay did you have that one no i didn't all right well what's your five <laughs> <laughs> Mine is a Mel Bernstein quote. Okay. Every day above ground is a good day. Every day above ground is a good day. When when does this happen? I, I can't remember when it happened. And uh, Mel if, is... If he wasn't in there that much. Yeah, who is Mel Bernstein? I don't remember who he, he even is in the movie. Yeah, it's, I don't remember. It's not Robert Loggia's character, I know that. No, 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 it's not him. Because this is a Jewish he's, name. He's in, yeah, he's in there very infrequently. But, okay. But it was a good line. All right. I'll 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 see if I can find it. <laughs> if not, I'll just use your delivery and that'll be fine. <laughs> All right. So my number four comes from, uh, I believe, the opening scene of the movie when he's uh, going through the customs agents, and they say... Where'd you get the beauty scar, tough guy? Eating pussy? How am I going to get a scar like that eating pussy? <laughs> <laughs> so classic. I'm guessing you didn't have that on your list. No, I didn't, but there's, like, all these <laughs> quotes that uh, are similar. So I'm like... Four is the only thing in this world that gives horns is both. Ah, okay. Yeah, I I had a, a well, no, my I had a similar one for my honorable mention, which is all I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Yeah, I think I have that one. Oh, okay. So you have a couple uh testicular quotes here. Uh, yeah, that was probably another mention. No, I don't <laughs> that in my... Ah, uh, okay. All right. Well, uh, my number three is, uh, comes from the scene where they're at the restaurant and, uh, he's having the argument with Michelle Pfeiffer and then she leaves and he's still, like, arguing to everyone and he says, So say goodnight to the bad guy. <laughs> I always remember that line. Um, what's yeah, your third? It, yeah, it was a little longer, but yeah, that was that yeah. Was, I, I summed it up just with that sentence. So, yeah. uh, and this one, Tony says to Alvira, I like Frank, you know, only I like you better. Yeah, that's when he's uh working on frank's wife basically yeah <laughs> <laughs> um yeah that's a good line well he was more or less working on taking over frank's business but yeah yes which leads to my next one which is this country you've got to make the money first then when you get the money you get the power then when you get the power then you get the woman yeah that's my number two Oh, okay. So we have the same number two. Yeah, it was then when you get the money, you get the power. Yeah. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. Yes. His advice to Manny. 
Yes. Which Manny didn't take his advice, sadly. Uh, he went for the woman first, which happened to be his sister, and you know how that turned out. <laughs> yeah, which, which should remind everybody that you do not surprise people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know, uh, we're planning a surprise, so we're not going to tell them that we got married. Right, yeah. Oh, man. I love in the movie, too, anytime uh, Tony sees his sister doing something he doesn't think she should be doing, and that music comes on, yeah. and that just, like, zooms in on him. It's, it's, and he it's, warned yeah. them, too, to stay away from his sister. Yep, yep. And uh, the actress, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, I forgot about her. She's always in great movies like The Abyss and yeah. Robin Hood throughout the 80s. Yep. Uh, yep. Very good. So, uh, all right. Number one, I've, we'll probably have the same one, I'm guessing. But this is one of the most iconic quotes of all time. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> no, actually, that was not my number one. <laughs> what? What's your number one? <laughs> I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. Ah, that's my other honorable mention. <laughs> that's a great one. Yeah, yeah. I, that was one of, like, I was struggling not to get it on. That and the one about my balls. Uh, but yeah, what are you going to do? All right, so this should be fairly easy to put together. So I think Say Hello has got to be one. And then at two, we'll put your number one, the uh, the truth very poignant line these days. I know. Uh, and then num our number three will be our uh, mutual number twos. First, you get the money. And then, okay, so four and five, is, we'll just put, uh, say goodnight to the bad guy. And uh, I like Frank. Poor Frank. I mean, he wasn't a good guy either, really, but <laughs> how do you feel sorry for anyone in these gangster movies? <laughs> I also forgot that F. Murray Abraham was in the movie. Yeah, right. Uh, and I'm like, how does he become a Latin guy? Like, that's kind of pushing it there. But, you know, that back in the 80s, they were still doing the thing where, you know. Yeah, you know, well, in... Uh... Amadeus, he played an Italian. Yeah, yeah, that's true, I suppose. But uh, at least back then, like most people, complexion-wise, with their wigs and everything, looked a little more realistic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is a good list. Any other honorable mentions for you? All I have in this world is my balls and my work, and okay. I don't break them for no one. Yeah, yeah, that was one of mine too. And then, uh, of course, you have to mention the chainsaw scene, which is pretty insane. Oh, God. Uh, and then, yeah. and then another one was, I didn't come to the United States to break my fucking back. That's <laughs> what he was working in the kitchen doing dishes. Right, right. I mean, hey, this is a rags to riches story, uh, if there ever was one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah kids if you can uh, get the money and and the power and the woman and then the cocaine and the guns you've made it uh, yeah he did except that he didn't have any lines for keeping the power yeah that's exactly true it but, was uh, about getting there not about staying there right yeah but man, how about that Al Pacino? Can't imagine anyone else in the role, man. <laughs> Insane. All right, so here we go. According to three and four, here are the top five Scarface quotes right now. I like Frank, you know? Only I like you better. So say goodnight to the bad guy. This country, you gotta make the money first. Then when you get the money, you get the power. Then when you get the power, then you get the woman. I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. 
shell up to my little friend. Yeah. Yeah. Very good episode. So yeah, now we got to go with the letter T, uh, which I don't remember if this was my unchanged list, but it probably is from last time. Uh, going from top to bottom, I got... What was it? It was a Terminator one, right? Last we did Terminator 2 last okay. time, yes. So now it's... Uh, so mine are Taxi Driver, Talladega Nights, There Will Be Blood, and Tommy Boy. What do you have? Hang on, Cass. Okay, that's your one? That's my one. Okay. True Lies is my number two. More Arnold. Taxi Driver. Yay. <laughs> and Time Bandit. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good deep cut. I man, I haven't seen that in forever. I think I didn't we say like next time we get together we gotta watch that? Because we haven't seen it in so long. I know. Uh yeah, since you were a kid, actually. Probably. Yeah. yeah. But that had some good lines though, for sure. Um had a lot of good people in it too. Yeah. A lot of good people and a lot of good little people too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I can't remember. Was Warwick Davis one of them? I don't recall. He probably was. might have been one of them. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember exactly. But yeah. the last time I saw it, the last time you saw it. Yeah, yeah, but I, like Sean Connery was one of them, and yeah. uh, Ian Holm was Napoleon. I remember that. Good stuff. All right. Well, um, let's see. So putting this together. We got uh, or the taxi driver for sure makes it. Tango and Cash. Uh, Talladega Nights. <laughs> the Ballad of Ricky Bobby, the full name. And uh, your, your two, which is True Lies. Okay. That's a pretty good list. Somewhat diverse. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what wins. I have a feeling uh, another uh gritty uh one. thing here so yeah taxi driver tango and cash talladega nights or true lies you know what to do either vote in the comments below or on the johnny radio poll and we will see you on the next one love you love you too all right bye